Christina, what is next for Bishop Alvarez? There are no more legal avenues for Bishop Alvarez in Nicaragua. Those were exhausted. And what ADF International has done for him, other than advocating for him and trying to bring the international community's attention to his case to prompt his release, we submitted a petition on his behalf to the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights that could issue a binding decision on Nicaragua, condemning Nicaragua for the persecution of the church and the violation of the bishop's uh, rights, all of them, including religious freedom, freedom of speech, but also right to life, uh, right to physical integrity, etc. So I think that's what today is like the most remaining important effort, because that's going to be the first decision that will condemn Nicaragua and sort of like call out Nicaragua in a, from a legal perspective for the violations of human rights they have committed. Because one of the biggest issues here is that a lot of people that are, have been exiled from Nicaragua, they were all terrified of pursuing justice at the international level because they knew even though their safety would be okay, their family was still in Nicaragua, could still suffer the consequences. 